Okay, I had to uh, move the uh, thermostat to the right a bit to accommodate the uh, overflow bottle. I was originally going to put the overflow bottle over here, tucked under the uh, starter. But then in reading the instructions, it uh, can't be so many inches below the, uh, forget the name of it, this bottle up here. Uh, so that would have been too low, so I had to change it to here. Also over there would have been, I couldn't get it, so it wasn't really very close to the exhaust pipe either. So I moved it over here, which necessitated that uh, thermostat going to the right. It's pretty much the same setup as I had before. Uh, I probably should have moved a little bit more to the right. I think there's a 5,000 gap between this hose and the bottle right there. Because I can put something in there to prevent chafing. Uh, so, because I moved the bottle here, I had to move the radiator hose to umpty nine trips to the automotive store to get the right molded hose. I think it came out fairly well. This is an aluminum barbed fitting here. It runs like that far. It's really nice, actually. So we also have a little problem here in that the uh, hose is pretty much another 5,000th gap right there between the hose and that bracket that I made. Uh, it's got that pretty well smoothed out. but So I'm thinking I'm putting, I ordered an Adele clamp. I thought I would uh, put it here. Hold this out just a bit like that. Clearance from the uh, exhaust is going to be all right. The exhaust pipe comes out here, and it's quite a good distance from that. Maybe when I put the clamp on, I can even push it forward a little bit more. Uh, so I made this bracket to hold the uh, overflow bottle. You can see it? I don't know if you can see it running up through there, and that's what I ended up attaching the lower. Uh, mounts to that bracket. That's actually my third version of the bracket. And this is the second one. I got too high and the rivets came out crummy, so that's the third one. The other question I had is about uh, these vent lines. Uh, you're going to have oil vent line coming out of off of the uh, top of the oil tank going down. Uh, I've got this vent line off the uh, top of the overflow bottle, this blue line going down. And I've already got the fuel vent going down. <coughs> I've already got it on a fitting into the floor there. Uh, so my, my question is, what I'm thinking of doing is getting a T, or I might take two T's, to uh, put the other two vent lines spliced into this fuel vent line, the oil and the uh, antifreeze vent lines into this, so I don't end up putting more, more holes into the floor. I'm thinking if it's low enough, I, I can't see that it would uh, cause a problem unless you can see a problem with that. Uh, so, any see any problems with this setup here if you appreciate you could let me know otherwise I'm pretty happy how it came out thanks